We talked with uh, Kevin Cruz and um, and Julian Zelizer um, in their book Fault Lines about the impact of the right wing media over the past 40, 45 years in um, sort of driving what has been up until I think fairly recently an asymmetric polarization or force that was creating polarization. One thing that did not come up, and I've been saying this for two and a half years, the moment Donald Trump is gone, the media will snap back. Well, with the victory of the Democrats in the House, the media snapped back pretty, you know, they, they're, their tendency is so dramatic in this way to get to an equilibrium where they can basically say a pox on both your houses. This is both your faults. Um, here is um, on CNN. Jim, how do you pronounce his name? Skudo. Skudo. Uh, <laughs> just sort of like saying, like, look, we need... We need there to be a dramatic cliffhanger here. We cannot do coverage of politics without some semblance of us being able to maintain arm's length from both of your positions, regardless. You say sun comes out during the day. They say sun comes out during the night. We can't take a position on this, even though our job is to deliver some of the basic truths and then go from there. I mean, when we talk about polarization in this country, if the media cannot, as a whole, simply agree on some very basic facts, the sun is in the sky during the day. It's not during the night. That's almost definitional. At least, you know, in New York, let's say. That is a problem. But watch how Jim Scutio um, really tries to make this about the... Now, we know nothing moved on the government shutdown when there were Democrat when the Democrats controlled no part of our government. Two weeks ago, the Republicans controlled everything and they didn't pass a budget. They were elected to change uh, things in Washington, to get things done. They have an ambitious agenda that extends far beyond uh, immigration here. Do they not have the risk of being portrayed as obstructionists here rather than, th than doers? <laughs> What's the opposite of time dilation? Like time stagnation. Right. It was just like, I'm sorry, we just had a hiccup where you guys were out of power for two years and we're not going to... Uh, like who, in, it, will you replay that? Because you know what's also amazing is there's no, it is, it is the most passive yeah. voice yeah. possibly used. Like what if aliens come down here and have no sense of context? Could they maybe say like, you guys are obstructionists? Go ahead. They were elected to change hmm. uh, things in Washington, to get things done. They have an ambitious in agenda that extends far beyond uh, immigration here. Do they not have the risk of being portrayed as obstructionists here rather than th than doers? I, what what was the answer to this? You know what Did I love? Know? There, there was no satisfying it wasn't, answer. It wasn't right? clipped to that, but the guy he's talking to, Scott Jennings, was a policy director for Mitch McConnell for a long time. So. Right. Wait, and I thought that was Matt Lewis there. Yeah, I mean, Matt, Matt Lewis, Lewis is a, they look you know, exactly a Republican alike. columnist, so I would imagine not much, but... But uh, what I think is, for, I could picture them like in morning prep, just being like, God, it's, it's going to feel great to be able to repeat exactly the same thing again that we right. used to always repeat. But it's going to be so relaxing. Wait, 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 like, uh, like, but portrayed by whom? Like who? Like, like what? Like, like yeah, by, by me. By me. <laughs> like, as I am doing right now. I'm trying to give Who's you Who's doing all this portraying I'm, in this country? <laughs> I'm trying to give you a prediction as to where I'll be tomorrow. <laughs> In, uh, in talking about your obstruction. Is this not an opportunity for us to resort to our absolutely mind-blowingly lazy cliches that we have been forced out of by a profoundly mentally ill president? I completely forgot that the president said, I will own the shutdown. In other words, I will totally own the sh shutdown. 
I completely forgot that happened. I'm sorry. Now that President Trump has declared martial law, the Democrats are in charge of the House, though. This wasn't exactly on their agenda, is it? <laughs> Could this be seen as a do-nothing, no-compromise Congress by President Trump declaring martial law? By all of you going into the camps, aren't you in some way participating in this? Like, re really, I mean, like, look, if you didn't go into the camps, maybe the camps wouldn't be full. I understand some would say in Democratic congressional offices that they're being forced into camps, but that being as it may, the American people want action.